Hello there, YouTube. Um, it's been a while, I feel like. So, I've been back from my Japan trip now um, for a few months. Got back in early January. And since I've returned, I have been really slacking on studying Japanese. I feel like when I got back into the States, I just kind of felt like I would have to either focus on my artwork or on studying Japanese. I didn't think I would have time to do you know, both because they both seem to require quite a lot of dedication. But I feel like lately I'm thinking that I could actually do both and I just have to be consistent. That's really the key. As long as I can do both every day, I think I'll make enough progress, honestly. So I've started to get back into listening to Japanese every day. Not a lot, but just, you know, slowly getting back into it. Um, I'm going back through Pimsleur again, which are the audio courses I had started. And that's really helping to kind of refresh my memory of the Japanese that I've sort of forgotten. So it's April now. And by next month, May, I'm planning to begin Lazy Kanji, which I downloaded a deck from uh, Matt vs. Japan. It's basically the most essential 1,000 Kanji characters you're going to see. So if you learn those, you pretty much are going to know enough to read most things you encounter, and I'll be able to make sentence cards in Anki, which is really one of the main reasons I need to learn Kanji, too. So this is just a temporary way to learn kanji for now, just to get um, the characters in my head while I'm learning really basic Japanese. So then next year I'm planning to go back through uh, James Heisig's book, um, Remembering the Kanji, which is going to be about 2,200 characters altogether. And that's when I'm going to learn how to, um, how to write the characters out. Um, but right now with the um, lazy kanji, it's just really learning how to recognize the kanji and the basic meaning of it, not really learning how to write it yet. So I figure after a few months of learning those basic kanji, listening to Pimsleur, listening to YouTube, listening to shows, things like that, then I'm going to get into um, basic sentence mining. And for that, I'm going to be using two books, basically. So this is N5 Tongo 1000, which is sort of a preparation book for the JLPT N5. So it's going to have a lot of all the essential vocabulary and some grammar that you're going to need. And then this is Tae Kim, his guide to Japanese grammar, which is also full of really essential grammar and stuff. And I'll basically just sentence mine most of the sentences from there. Um, so that's pretty much all I'll be doing for learning grammar. I don't think really grammar is something you should learn totally from a book. It's good to learn sort of the essentials from a book and then everything else will sort of be learned through context, which is more of a natural way to learn. So hopefully by the end of the year, with that sort of foundation of basic Japanese grammar and vocabulary and all that stuff, then I can get into sentence mining um, in the wild. So like TV shows, books, comics, um, YouTube videos, things like that. Anything I see where it's just an I plus one sentence, which means that there's something in the sentence that I don't know, just one thing. Um, that way it's not really overwhelming with each sort of sentence, each Anki card that you make, you're learning one new piece of information. And I'll be doing about um, maybe 10, 10 new cards a day, 10 sentences a day. So I mean, immersion is really key in all of this, like input, listening, stuff like that. Speaking really isn't the best way to practice learning a language, honestly, especially in the beginning at least. But um, 
So the challenging part, I think, is just watching and listening to TV shows, podcasts, music, stuff like that, where I have no idea what's really happening because I don't know enough of the language to really understand even full sentences really yet. Um, but I'm hoping that, you know, after a few weeks or maybe a month or two, that it will actually kind of grow on me. And maybe I'll even learn enough words to sort of start understanding really basic things in the shows. So if you're interested in the books that I mentioned, I'll put links in the description below to where you can find them. And I'm going to try to um, make some update videos as I go throughout the year. Hopefully maybe one video a month, maybe every other month. Um, yeah. Alright, thanks for watching. Till next time.